friends, today I will be bringing to you my project that I did for the Look for Less Challenge. Now this challenge is created and hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door and this month's co-host is Jessica from Measure and Mix. This month I'm going to be doing two projects for you for two reasons. The first project that I'm going to be showing you was so simple and so quick and easy. I almost felt guilty about doing it, but it was what I wanted to do for Thanksgiving. And then the second reason why I'm doing two projects is that one of the requirements for this month's video was that your project needed to be something that has to do with the holidays. Now I know Thanksgiving is a holiday, but I'm sure they had in mind something um, decorative for like Christmas or ha Hanukkah or whatever um, holiday you celebrate in December. So I am going to be doing a project for Thanksgiving and then a project for Christmas. And then the other reason why I'm doing two projects this time is that I was already thinking ahead and I didn't realize until Yami did the announcement for the November um, video that she's going to be taking a break in December and she's not going to be doing a look for less challenge in December. Well in my mind I had already planned out to do two projects, one for November, one for December. So I'm just going to throw them both into one video. So I hope you enjoy what I came up with for November and for December, for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. These are the supplies you're going to be needing for this project. You're going to need four succulents that you can get from the Dollar Tree, some of that twine, the jute twine, also from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got these book rings. I got them from Staples. They were actually already in my stash, things that I already had. But I'm sure they sell these at the Dollar Tree as well, or you can get them at Walmart. So what you're going to want to do is just take lengths of the twine, um, just cut off a good size length. It's easier to use these smaller lengths of twine than to work with the entire roll. And then you just take your hot glue gun and put a little dot of glue, you don't want too much glue, and on to the ring and I start at the hinge and then you just put the twine on and you carefully start wrapping. Um, to adhere the twine to the ring. And then you want to add a little bit more hot glue just periodically around the ring. You don't have to add hot glue every single time you wrap because you're wrapping this tightly and so it's not going to come loose. But just for a little bit of added security, you're going to want to add a little hot glue every now and then. You're going to want to wrap all the way around the uh, ring twice so that it's thicker and so that all of the silver is cover covered. And then at the very end, you're going to want to just adhere that end of the um, twine with some hot glue. Just be careful and not burn yourself. And then there's all these little hairs sticking out just from working with the twine. It kind of caused those little hairs. So you're just going to want to go around and just trim up the uh, ring just so that it looks uh, cleaner. If you don't want to, you don't have to do this step. Then you're going to want to take the succulent, pull it out of the pot, and kind of clean the stem off just so that it's easier. And then you're going to want to cut that stem off so that it's nice and flat. And then you just take some hot glue and put it on the succulent. You set the succulent down on a flat surface and then hold the um, ring on it. And you're going to have to hold it for just a few seconds till the hot glue dries just a little bit. 
And then you're going to want to take some twine and hot glue it on and then wrap it around just to secure it better. Hot tamales! Wow, I burnt myself. Dang. Here are the finished product and here is what the place setting will look like for Thanksgiving. These are the items you're going to need for project number two. A frame, a Christmas wreath, and some pit berries all from the Dollar Tree, some 50 cent paint from Walmart and some gingham check ribbon also from Walmart and not pictured is some gift wrap wrapping paper also from Walmart. First thing I did was take the glass out of the frame and then I took the red paint from Walmart and I painted the frame. Now I wound up putting two coats of paint on this frame and then because I didn't really like the way it was looking I went ahead and added another coat of spray paint. This Krylon spray paint we already had from another project. And then I took the backing cardboard of the frame and I took the wrapping paper and I centered the wrapping paper how I wanted it so that the um, words were on how I wanted it to be and then I went ahead and traced the, the um, image out and then I used some Mod Podge to glue it down. Then I just took the wreath and I fluffed out the little branches how I wanted it to be. And yeah, it's kind of sparse, but that's the way it is in the original. So I didn't add any extra branches, I just used it how it was. everything is dry then you put the um, backing back into the frame but you don't put the glass back in you don't want the glass in it so you just put the backing in making sure that you know it's in there correctly and then what you're going to do is then hot glue the uh, wreath onto the frame and then hot glue the ribbon onto the wreath
that is where I am going to have it hanging for the holiday season. I have it fastened on to the chicken wire frame that I did in the other that I did in another Look for Less Challenge. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it for you. And I just used an alligator clip to clip it on. have it folks those are my two projects I hope you enjoyed my dupes for the napkin rings and for the wall hanging I really enjoy this look for less challenge I want to thank Yami for um, creating this and hosting it every month it is such a fun challenge to do if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to look down in the description box below for Yami and Jessica's channel and also for the playlist. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.